Okay, really quickly, I wasn't planning on filming a video today, but I happened to come upon this overpass bridge thing, if you will, and thought it was really cool and figured, um, why not do a video on it? Now, I do want to warn you, there might be some adult language um, as far as the art goes. Um, this is graffiti and street art, and as everybody knows, sometimes that stuff can be subjective. So I don't mean to offend anybody if you see a word or something written that might be a little offensive. That goes without saying, I love street art. I love graffiti. I love everything about it. Um... I may not agree with the message all the time, especially if it's gang related, but um, I definitely respect the art. Now, I've been biking this area for quite a few months now, usually on Saturdays. This happened to be a Sunday that I recorded this video, but um, this was the first time that I actually got to explore um, this little trail thing that I had found that I always knew was there, but I never actually explored. And, um, anyways, I hope you enjoy today's video. Place in Ann Arbor, downtown Ann Arbor, called Graffiti Alley, which is basically this whole alleyway where there's like graffiti everywhere. And, um, there's an over, like a, a, a parking garage that you can park at close to it. And the parking garage is littered in graffiti too. And this here, this reminds me so much of that. Now, the last time I was in Ann Arbor was 2019. So it's been a couple of years. Well, a few years. I hope to go back one day. Who knows? Um, and if I do, I'll definitely film there as well. But, um, one thing that I think a lot of people may not know about me is that I've always had a thing for street art. I've always loved graffiti and just art in general. And what I like about graffiti is the self-expression. A lot of times people like to freehand, so it's basically no stencils or anything, they just freehand it, you know? And that's the kind of art that I like to do too. I don't really follow like a stencil, I just move my hands and wherever it leads is where it leads. Most of the artwork that I've done myself actually at home um, is freehanded, but even if it's stenciled on, it's just the way that the art is. The, like the, each individual artist has their own style and their own way of expressing themselves. And the color, too. Um, I was in Dearborn Heights earlier, and I was biking, and I was taking the sidewalk, and I was over this overpass, it led over this, you know, little creek thing. And um, I noticed that there was a path there. And I've been coming to Dearborn Heights now pretty much every single Saturday for the last few months since, like, early May. And I take this way all the time to get there to the place where I like to hang out at in Dearborn Heights. There's a particular park in Dearborn Heights I like to hang out at where I like to you know, spend my time at. It's quiet and secluded and everything else. But anyways, so I was biking and I seen this and I'm like, I'm going to go down and actually look at the trail and walk the trail and explore. And I did. And I happened to come upon this. And I just thought it would be cool to film a little video because this is actually my very first time that I've actually been down here. So I really don't know what's here, to be quite honest with you. Come down the trail, 
and walked here and had noticed all this really cool graffiti. The things that you find when you explore. This is the first time I've ever seen this. And what's funny is I go to Dearborn Heights every Saturday, usually. And I take this way all the time. And this is the first time that I've actually stopped and actually took a walk down the trail. Because I knew that there was a trail here, just didn't know what was here. Now I am keeping my voice down a little bit because I'm trying to re remain a little discreet. I don't know. I know sometimes with um, where we're at, there tends to be homeless people sometimes. So I don't know if, not to say that there's anything wrong with that because there isn't, but I kind of have to be safe, especially that I'm here by myself. So that's why I'm kind of keeping my voice down. Anyways, I filmed in here a little earlier and I got some footage that I'm going to do some voiceovers so you can actually hear more clearly. But I saw this today and I thought it was uh, It was really cool. I'm going to attempt, without scratching my backpack up too much on all this rock and shit. Look at that. Now again, I don't know, this is my first time here, so if there's any foul language that you see written, I apologize, but it's not me. Obviously, it's the people who put this art here in the first place. See what I mean? I keep scratching my backpack on. Anyways, if you um, follow me on Facebook, most of you may know from some of my posts that I've made that... Um, I really, really like art. In particular, graffiti. I love street art. I love graffiti. I love murals. Um, if you've ever been to Grand Rapids, Grand Rapids, you know, there's, there's some murals that are on their buildings. And Detroit, like downtown Detroit, one of, the most, one of my most favorite things that I like to do when I go to Detroit is I like to look at all the graffiti. Um, especially like on the, the old abandoned buildings and things of that sort that are all like spray painted and tagged and things. I just think it's really cool. Now, I understand that some people think that graffiti is an act of destruction, which it can be. I can understand if it's like a public building or something like that where people don't have permission. But when it comes to places like this, I have absolutely no problems with it. Um, one thing that I love about street art is I love how each individual artist has their own spin to it. So like, you know, one graffiti artist might do something different or have a different technique than the other graffiti artist and, um, or the other person doing the art. Rather, it's graffiti, painting, whatever, but especially street art in general, talking about street art. Um, it's it, a lot of it is like free-handed. A lot of it is like the artist expressing themselves. And I get that all art in general is a form of self-expression because that's what art is. But there's just something about like the styles and you know the uh, how people express themselves, and you can actually see some of the personality in the artist when it comes to this kind of art. And another thing I really like about street art is the fact that it's very, very colorful. Um, most of it. Some of it's black and white and gray and stuff, but a lot of what you see is color. And um, you will know that I really, 
really, really love color. Um, colorful art in general. Now, I do know that some graffiti has like gang overtones or some negative overtones. As you can probably see in this video, um, some of the art that is under here is not necessarily the most appropriate, if you will, but I may not agree with the message, put it this way. I may not agree with the message, but I definitely support the person's, you know, art, if you will. This is what I'm talking about when I say free expression, or when I say, like, each individual piece of art has their own individual take or flair, if that makes sense, or each individual style. I mean, look at that. And the color scheme and just everything about it. Now, um, and just street art in general, and I, I really like color. Anything that has color is up my alley. I like the black and white stuff too, but the more color, the better. And um, now, I understand that some graffiti has like gang overtones and things to it. Um, and that kind of art, I don't, I don't agree with the message. But at the same time, I kind of do think it's really cool, like the lettering and stuff. Just like the format and everything. But of course, you know, I'm not pro-gang or any of that stuff, so it's not like I'm saying the message behind the art is something I support, but I do respect the art in general, regardless what kind of uh, motives are behind it.